Yeah, so you guys can see, all right, this is going to be a pretty big number, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7, and then divided by 1 times 2 and divided by 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6, that can be a pretty big number. But it's important for you guys to understand that uh, when we're dividing these factorials, we're having a lot of repeated um, a lot of repeated operations. So let me show you what I mean. Over here, I have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8. Right? Yeah. Then on the bottom, I'm doing 1 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Well, what you guys can notice is, remember, when you have numbers divided by themselves, they equal 1, right? Yeah. So this... And this are the exact same values. I'm just dividing them by each other. Cool. So that's just going to go to 1. So therefore, excuse me, what I have is 7 times 8, which is 56, divided by 2. 2. Which is 28. Which is going to be 28. Oh, that was kind of neat. Not so much. Okay. Okay. Um, the only other thing you guys are going to have to do with factorials, which I'm not going to give an example on, is finding like the first four terms. So you guys just know.